Here's a short video showing how to use Quark Gadget inside BeatMaker 3. First thing you want to do is go to the waveform or the squiggly line under the 16 pads. Next, you want to choose plugin. Go to inner app audio. Select gadget. Click on the gadget icon. Now you want to make sure that that uh, MIDI keyboard down there is representative of the BeatMaker 3 keyboard. You want to make sure that's set to C1. You do that by going to the octave and going to C1. Second, you go to the gadget. Click on the instrument you want to trigger. Go back to BeatMaker 3. Now we're going to set up our MIDI. And you do that by going to the X up top. There will be an uh, icon that says gadget and three little dots. This is gonna allow you to set up MIDI. So you go to the MIDI setup, go to MIDI output. I don't know if you can see it. And select gadget. Now your keyboard, your MIDI keyboard inside BeatMaker 3 should be triggering all the samples that are in gadget. So say you want to use the 16 pad mode instead of the keyboard mode. You go up top, you see where it says bank A? There's three dots right there. And you can switch it to 64 pad mode, or you can six, set it to 16 pad mode. Or if you want keys, you can set it to keys. But we're gonna go to 16 pad mode by going to the pads. Now see, it's set at A1. What you gotta do here is go to keys and then go through the different octaves till you get to C1 again. Now you're in 16 pad mode. And the great thing about that is you can now access note repeat. And there you have it. So, uh, yeah, I hope this helped out anybody that didn't know how to use uh, Core Gadget inside BeatMaker 3. Uh, put up some more videos. This is just a rough video showing a quick lesson on how to use BeatMaker 3. Thanks.